Hi guys, uh, I got a request via email and a couple uh, private messages on YouTube uh, that some of you guys want to see a tutorial on progress bars. So I'm going to do one right now. Uh, right now I've just I dragged two buttons over a text box and a progress bar from the toolbox over here. Progress bar is this one. Um, what's basically is going to happen is um, I'm going to count from one to a n or zero to a number such as a thousand or a hundred thousand or something like that, and I'm going to display the progress in the progress bar. And so the user will input the number in here, then press count, and then clear. It's just going to clear the progress bar. So let's go ahead and write the code for the count button. Uh, what we want, we want to get the maximum value that we're trying to reach uh, that the user in inputs in the text box. So, just get an int for that. And text box text is string, so we're going to have to convert that to an int. Convert to int32. And if someone enters like a character in here, uh, the program will crash, so it's always a good idea to do a, some error checking. Let's actually do a message box. And this will ensure that um, our program doesn't crash. Okay, and actually, probably just want to quit after this. Uh, trying to remember what quit is in C sharp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forget about it. Forgotten at the moment. Not just to return. That'll do it. All right, and now we're going to want to set. Uh, the maximum value of the progress bar to max. So we do progress bar one dot maximum equals max. Stupid or complete. It's not recognizing the scope of it because it's in the try catch block. Okay. Alrighty. And this will basically set the maximum value that the progress card could be, progress bar could be to whatever they enter into the text box. And now we're going to do our for loop. And we're going to set the progress bar one dot value equal to i. So each step of this for loop, the value is going to basically increment by one. Or we could just as well do, pretty sure we can do this. I don't know. Yeah, we can. this will do the same thing. Just set it to I anyway. All right. And now we just set the clear. Progressbar.value equals zero. OK, so we should be able to do it. Just my little form. Let's do 100, count, there we go. See the progress bar filled as it went through that for loop, clear, clears it. And that's just a very basic uh, intro to progress bars. They're great for uh, if you want to make fancy GUIs that show the progress of something, obviously. And that's about it. If you'd like to learn anything else about C Sharp or Java or other tutorials, um, leave a message or a uh, comment on this video, give me a private message, make sure to subscribe to my videos on my channel, um, and go to the links in the description, they're awesome. Uh, this is Quackler, signing out.